Hey everyone, it's Jason Donnelly, aka DJ Puzzle, reporting from my website iPadLoops.com, and I'm really stoked to show you real quick today. Cubasis now supports audio unit MIDI plugins. What does this mean? Well, now we can use the uh, Brambos Rosetta Suite in our Cubase session. So just tap here on MIDI effects and select your audio unit MIDI plugin of choice. I'm gonna use Zox for the beat. Now make sure you select general MIDI so that the drum steps line up with the Cubase classic machines that we just loaded. And I'm gonna lay down a quick, simple oops pattern. We're gonna use Bramboss bass line to create a simple bass riff. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually, uh, we're gonna play that riff on a keyboard and record the changes. All right, all set up, so let's go ahead and hit record. All right. Now when you play it back, here's the trick. It's gonna sound like a mess. Like, oh my God, it's not doing what I just did. I see the MIDI, but it sounds messed up. Why? Because there you go. That's why. Now you can see all the MIDI information here that you just recorded and uh, go in and change notes if you want. So that's the new Cubasis 2 update featuring support for audio unit MIDI plugins. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.